burning. Oh my god, I gotta flip it. I gotta flip it. I think I just ruined it. <sighs> What's up guys? Happy freaking Easter! Today I'm going to attempt to make bread over the fire, but here in Oregon the weather doesn't always like to cooperate, and at the moment the wind is gusting at 40 miles an hour, so the fire part is probably going to be the hard part. Don't judge the mess on the bed, I've been contemplating life lately, and this is what it looks like when I contemplate life. But I have the recipe right here that my dad gave me, and um, we're going to we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm going to half this recipe though because I'm not actually feeding an army, and they do. So he says three packets of active dry yeast. So in one packet, I had to Google this, but there are two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. It's math here two and a quarter, two, four, six, six and three quarters, six and three quarters of a teaspoon of active dry yeast. And I need to break that down in half. So obviously half of six is three. Um, so what's 0.375 fraction? 375. So I figured it out. I literally take the one quarter and then the one eighth and that is three eighths i've got one cup of water in this thing it needs to be warm water so in order to heat water up in the van it's very different and i have a microwave so i have to heat it up on the stove top so that's why if you've seen any of our previous videos you know that's how we make coffee as well so I'm going to heat this water up and I'm going to stick a thermometer in it. One. Whoops. I found this out the other day that um, if your water is over 120, that your yeast will actually die and it will not activate. So if you're having issues with your yeast, that's probably why. Either that or the yeast is just dead already, so. Since I was a little girl, my family and I would get together the day before Easter to make our delicious Easter bread. It's one of my favorite traditions from childhood and a memory that I'll cherish for a lifetime. Since moving into the van, Zach and I have carried on this tradition but added our own little flair to it. Some years we share this with friends and some years like this, I do it alone. But no matter where we are or what we're doing, it's something that we do year after year. If you're enjoying this video thus far, smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe for weekly content. So I only need one. It also calls for three teaspoons of salt. Um, so instead I need one and a half teaspoon of salt. Now I'm just going to mix all of this together really good. And last but not least, <laughs> The recipe also calls for two tablespoons of butter, and again, I do not have a microwave, so I heat it up on the stove top. So now we just mix all of this together. So typically what I do from here is I kind of form it into this like, um, half shaped ball size thing. I coat the inside of this glass dish with a little bit of olive oil and roll this little nugget in the olive oil. And while it's rising, we're going to build the fire. Today I'm totally cheating. I was going to use my flint and not paper to get things going, but to be honest with you, wind is howling and it looks like it's going to rain so let's just get this fire made and try to cook some bread
Okay, while the fire is safely doing its thing outside where I can see what's happening, because I know the wind is crazy and I don't want it to get out of hand, I have diced up onions and I have fried up some sausage. And now that my bread has rose, I'm actually going to roll it out and I'm going to layer it with onions, sausage, mozzarella cheese. And we're gonna create this like yummy roll up. Now that my dough is rolled out and my sausage is fried up and everything is rolled into this one ball of yummy goodness, I'm going to get the fire ready to cook on. Currently I have flames going still and it needs to dole down a little bit and we just need some perfectly hot coals. burning. Oh my god, I gotta flip it. I gotta flip it. Oh my gosh. I think I just ruined it. I'm like really upset right now because I worked so hard on this bread and I was so excited to eat it and the bottom half of it is completely burnt. I had to flip it upside down and now everything's just kind of oozing out of it. Man, like I'm like really upset right now. So like a dummy, I was in the van washing dishes and the wind picked up outside. It uh, stoked the fire up to uh, more than just a little flame. And now I'm dealing with burnt bread on one side um, as you saw, I did flip it, uh, but this is essentially what I'm dealing with, so I'm totally still going to eat it. So even though the bottom half of the bread did turn out a little crispy, uh, we already kind of dove into it to see what it would taste like, and um, it's really pretty good, actually. And uh, we're going to enjoy some bread with uh, soup. So happy Easter and we'll see you next Sunday.